Hi Sagittarius, this is Patricia from Cosmic Moonchild Tarot 1111 coming to you today with your July reading for 2018. Uh, so all the Sagittarians that have been with me from the beginning, I want to thank you for all the support and the love that you have been giving me on this channel. And for the new ones that have subscribed, thank you for being here. It's a great pleasure to have you here. So uh, Sagittarius, um, I already pre-shuffled the cards for you, okay, and I'm going to lay them down. So a couple of months ago, I had taken a leap of absence because um, in 2012, my third eye uh, was opened, okay, and uh, with the shift that we had, we had a great shift uh, that time in 2012, for if those of you do remember, and uh, so in um, November of uh, November of uh, 2017, when Jupiter went into Scorpio, um, I went through many transformations with my third eye and my crown, and I was getting a lot of like releasing and activations and upgrades. And so I had that time was like I had to stay in bed most of the time, and I could it was a lot of headaches due to it too. And I could not do a uh, any card reading, but I'm back now and I'm doing better. <clears throat> and so uh, if those of you that are going through an awakening right now and you're kind of scared, but at, great at the same time it's like fascinating and you know you, and if you want to know more about the third eye if you want to learn more I could do a video one day if only you leave the comments that you are interested in it, that third eye reading uh, uh, third eye uh, not reading sorry but third eye video I will because there's not too many information on uh, YouTube on uh, and not too many people to talk about this okay and um, it should be something that should be uh, you know I will tell you in my experience the do's and the don'ts it might help you you know so uh and that, and so um now when we get into your reading if those of you are wearing earphones or your volume is very high i would like you to take out your earphones for two seconds please okay because i want to uh do my bell here and it's going to clear the energy of uh, the reading as we start okay so this is for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus okay for the month of july 2018 I will also spray for the energies and so on me too. Mm, I love this one. This is Archangel Michael. But I can't, uh, it's an Archangel Michael um, spray to release uh, all the negative energies, okay? So let's start with your reading. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if this reading does not resonate with you, always look, your, look at your rising, your moon, and your Venus sign. And if you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. You go on Google. And you write free birth chart and then follow the link okay it's always good to see where your rising sign and your moon and your venus and other uh, planets come so this is for sagittarius what's going on for sagittarius i hope you all been doing fine this is a new format where i came on uh that you could see me because uh, i do really want to have like a one-on-one -on -one interaction with you where you could see me and we could grow stronger as a community here and uh, but I will show you the cards as we go along okay so you'll never be without the cards okay just, just to let you know okay so I'm gonna take out two cards here two cards here okay, I'm gonna do this different take out to it. these cards as well. Got the messages for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus. I'll put the cards down first and then we're gonna go with the reading okay just give me a second put the cards in three it's for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus one two Right now, I got 9-9 nine, nine on the ground, so there's a lot of completions for you here. I feel you've been working hard on yourself. Um, some of you are making good money right now, okay, in the summertime, uh, or you start making money like in spring, okay? Uh, I feel that you accomplished a lot in that sense, okay? So let's see what else is going on with you here. Right now, um, a lot of you should be trusting your intuition. 
Uh, you're um, con a lot of you are connected through spirit and your spirit guides. Okay, there's a lot of things that you know. Your intuition is right on target. There's someone that's coming and offering you. There's a friendship maybe that's coming towards you. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. It's the page, uh, the page of uh, cups that's coming towards you, and you've got the High Priestess card. Okay. So these are two wonderful cards right here. It talks about, uh, you know, um, to, to trust in your spiritual gifts that were given to you. And for some of you that feel that things are hidden from you, they are not. Because you, as a high priestess at this time, are holding all. You know everything that's coming towards you. Your intuition is right on target, okay? Uh, this person here, there's a new beginning happening with this person. There is a new beginning here. Okay, I do see a new beginning. And <clears throat> you're thinking that this person might hurt you or backstab you or you're not sure about this person. I feel that you are sure about this person. This person will not do any kind of uh, bad treatments. You got the five of swords, but it's reversed. When it's reversed, it's a very good thing. If it would be like this, okay, it means that someone would be backstabbing you, but I don't see this as happening towards you. We're going to ask more questions as we go along, okay? Sagittarius what's crowning you or well, not crowning sorry what's uh crossing you this is what i meant to say is um you got the five of autumn and you got the six of autumn so you got the five of pentacles and the six of pentacles but this is a love reading but if i do see something financial i will also tell you because it's only fair right if it's here as of financially okay in the past okay you've been maybe feeling left out having fears about money not having the proper help but I hear, I feel this is like you had to go through changes, okay? Or And and in the end, five to six, it's like you're going up a level. And now it's like I feel that things are balanced with whatever you're doing, working. Uh, if you are, if this has to do with a job, if you're working, okay? Uh, whatever you do as work, whatever you put in, will you be received. But this could also be of a, peer, of a person. If, it, if it, this has to do with a person that you uh, you 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 feel that this person, because your intuition is right on target, you have to trust yourself, okay, Sagittarius. Uh, there is a new beginning here that you're going to take a leap of faith here, okay. Maybe what's crossing you are fears of the past, where you're going to feel that you're going to be left out, or um, where there's fears where you don't think that uh, maybe a fear of rejection, okay. But I feel here because you got the five and the six right after right five and six. Uh, I feel here that the six represents that you and this person will be, uh, it will be equal. Whatever you give, they will give. You understand? It's, that's what I feel. Uh, you got the nine of pentacles twice here. I'm going to show you. You got the nine of pentacles twice where it shows that you've been working hard on yourself. Look at the beautiful pentacles here. Okay. You've been working hard also in maybe uh, your job, but not only in your job, but in yourself, grounding yourself. Uh, really doing the inner work okay so congratulations on that and you may be dealing with an Aquarius um, Libra or um, Gemini and if it's not a person it's the energy that you're dealing with this kind of energy that you're very decisive you're very clear you cut away everything and you know where you're going okay this is what I feel in the recent past okay there was an offer that was made to you got the ace of pentacles okay this could be a gift that was coming with the angels okay a gift that came in for you okay and uh, a gift or this could be also if it's not a gift of money or inheritance this is someone that's coming in offering you love okay and here you are the queen or the king okay of a fire or a wands okay this is you standing your grounds you being grounded okay i see this this is beautiful here okay and they're asking you not to underestimate yourself and your ability you are very creative you are very beautiful uh, or if you're a man you're very uh, you know uh, handsome uh, you have what it takes to create anything abundantly okay i do feel this and i feel that because you've been working so hard on yourself that this whatever that came in for you in the recent past could have been money okay um like money or it could have been a love situation that came towards you. Again, um, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Maybe a Leo came towards you. Uh, here it shows a recovery. Okay, that if you let's say you weren't feeling good in the past, there's you are recovering. You're gonna have the strength to go through this. 
you've been working very hard okay in details maybe in this relationship if those of you are in a relationship okay or this is like you're working very hard in in uh you know in your job okay or your career or your purpose okay this is also in the past in the past i feel here you got the eight of wands the eight of wands talks about uh, fast messages coming in very quickly passionate loving uh could be through text whatever it is but just like emails but very passionate messages and uh, many 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 beautiful opportunities here many beautiful opportunities that showed up for you maybe short distance travel as well i feel some of you relocated into a new place uh, new job new home or just moved completely okay let me know if this resonates with you a lot of you've been dealing with a virgo okay maybe a lot of you have to deal with a virgo or uh, in the recent past or this is you going within and finding your answers and shining your light and that light um, you know you took the time the solitude okay or to be by yourself okay and really finding your answers because you did get the high priestess here you had made a decision in the past and you stuck to it this is very beautiful okay what's crowning you right now <laughs> look at that <laughs> I got the hermit card again okay so maybe you are dealing with a person solitude this also could be solitude or you're dealing with a person that's a virgo okay or this is um it's time to have a retreat okay for yourself you also got the king of autumn but the king of pentacles could also be a queen of pentacles it's a general reading just remember that okay uh, just take what resonates with you and what does not resonate with you. It's not for you. Okay. Uh, this is someone that is very, um, they're very stable. They're like guardian angels at some point as well. Okay. They come in to help uh, new ideas here. Uh, very passionate, very loving people. But they're, when they stay, they, they stay. Okay. And they're also uh, very stable and uh, they have money. You got the four of pentacles. Four, four of pentacles is, um, see so you got the four, and I have to show you because it's the same thing. You got the four, five, six, a lot of synchronicities here. You started with the four, having fears, opening your heart, okay? Uh, you went to the five, and this is what's crossing you. The five and the six of pentacles is crossing you. But I feel this, that you are gonna overcome this. Here it shows me that you are scared okay you have a fear of getting hurt again maybe someone from the past okay that hurt you you know maybe relationships or just uh, partnerships you had or something like that and uh you need to open your uh, you need to be vulnerable and open your heart and let go of the sphere okay because i do feel that this person is a very good person that's here for you and you have the wheel of fortune and you got the ace of pentacles on the ground and the six of pentacles which shows me that there is a completion that's done and there's a second chance coming towards you maybe in relationships now when i say second chance meaning that not i don't see that this is someone from the past because i did not get the past card but i feel that this is like a person that's coming in <clears throat> it's like a new person coming in okay um and uh, you have a second chance in for yourself in the sense that uh, if you are going to end up with someone that's a Virgo in the near future, uh, what went wrong in the in your relationships in the past with others, you, this is not going to happen because it's learned lessons. This is also money fall, a lot of money coming towards you, okay? So I'm going to go deeper into the reading, okay? Um, I'm going to take a card each for each one, okay? So this one is for the first. And then I'm going to give me another card for the Princess of Cups and the High Priestess. Okay. Okay. This is for the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Give me another card for this. Oops. Oops. Got two of them here. <laughs> okay. I want to put them in here. And I'll. I'll show you as we go along. I'm just going to take them out like that. It's easier. Oh, wow. Sagittarius. Amazing. There's a lot of new beginnings for you in finances and in your purpose, uh, in your passion, in love. That's just be this is really beautiful. I'm very, very happy for you right now. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to take out one more card. Oh, my God. Beautiful. Okay.
with someone coming in that is um, they're very sensitive they're kind okay people and they're very um, uh, they're young they're inexperienced but they're they're coming in to offer you a friendship or they offer you their cup okay uh, you your intuition is right on target okay so just don't ever doubt yourself okay Sagittarius and the next card I got is the two of wands making short-term plans okay you're making short-term plans and your visions okay um, and your creativity are coming together if this has to do with your purpose okay but I do see uh, two people coming together okay very beautiful What's crossing you? Remember, I told you, you have the five of pentacles. you got the six of pentacles, which is very good from having fear, okay? Feeling rejected or being left out, you are going to be, it's going to be equal, balance, fair and just. And you got the ten of, uh, of uh, wands, which is the ending of a difficult situation or phase in your life where you're not going to feel the stress anymore if this has to do with money, okay? So there is a new beginning on the ground here for you, but this is crossing you. Okay, and from the spring, queen of, or the king of wands, which is you, from the ace of uh, pentacles to the eight of pentacles, you got divine timing that's here for you. Okay, so divine timing is here for you. And this could also be a person of a fire energy younger than you, okay, which Sagittarius Leo, uh, or uh, Sagittarius Leo and Aries, okay. Or this is just a person that's coming in for you that's very passionate very loving this is divine timing here for you okay and an opportunity that's gonna take you to a different direction like it's gonna just like blow your mind okay and from the eight of wands to the six of swords maybe if those of you are not relocating this is also you uh, walking away or leaving behind the old you okay because you do not live there anymore you got the ten of autumn this is a new beginning in um home with somebody okay there's a new beginning here for you so you got ten ten on the ground ten ten is being on the right path and if you take out the zeros okay it's one one okay new beginnings are happening for you okay beautiful things here Sagittarius from the hermit card if this person is a Virgo they're very stable people they're hard-working people Okay, they're family oriented. You did get the three of cups. Okay, a lot of celebration with this person. Okay, a lot of celebration is coming towards you. Now I'm going to take a card. Um, and if I looked at the bottom of the deck again, you got the wheel and you got it twice here. This could be a second chance. For others of you, there is a second chance of you making things right. You're going to have your wheel. The wheel is coming for you. Okay, that's going to bring you a lot of blessings in the month of July. A lot of blessings are coming to you financially, in love, your purpose. It's all here, Sagittarius. I'm very happy for you. Okay, now I'm going to take out one more card for the bottom cards. Okay, and then we'll see what else is going on here. Oh yeah, it's too many cards. I just asked for one card. Give me one card. One card. One card for the full and for the five of swords reversed. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's nice. You got new beginnings. Taking the leap of faith because you went through a lot of transformations, Sagittarius. This person will not hurt you, okay? This new person that's coming in is not going to hurt you. You got this. There's a lot of options for you, okay? You have a lot of options around you, Sagittarius. A lot of times I feel that this card is too much of an op too much options, looking too much in the future and not staying in the moment, okay? And, um, but it also talks about all the cups of all the things that you wanted, all the things that you have manifested up to now, because you've been doing a lot of manifestation. You've got the world card. It's a completion for you. Again, the wheel. Okay. I got the wheel twice here for you because I'm going to keep showing you these cards so that you see them. Okay. So you've got completion here. 
from the mud because a lot of this flower uh, grows from the ground and goes through mud a lot of mud and into the water to become this beautiful lotus flower just like the caterpillar has to things that they're dying and then at the end they are rebirthed into a butterfly and this is what you have your completions you learn all your lessons from the past and you have new beginnings new cycles happening you new phases and i also see this as a travel card as well okay this is beautiful you've been manifesting this you've been working so hard i could see this here and, I, and i'm very very happy for you sagittarius I'm very, very happy, okay? Judgment is coming for you. It's faded. Something is faded to come in, okay? What's faded is uh, things being equal and just and fair for you in the end of stressful, stressful, stressful stuff, okay? There's an ending of that. Okay, and uh, fears that you let go of. Okay, and so when the angels are coming in, this is something that will be given to you from the universe. Okay, because you've done your work. You've done your all your work. Sagittarius. Very beautiful. I really love your reading. Again, you got the two of wands. You got it twice in your reading, short-term plans, short-term plans here, okay? And in um, short-term plans, people, two people coming together, you're starting to see visions, you're starting to make visions, you're starting to make your plans. Uh, maybe they're not long-term, like long, long, uh, far ahead, but they're close by and you're manifesting very quickly too at the same time. Okay, that's just beautiful. You got a lot of fire energy here. A lot of action. You're taking action, Sagittarius. Yeah. Two of cups. Two people coming together with love. Sharing the same cup. Okay, sharing the same cup under the moonlight. This will have this is a very beautiful card. Could be also a Cancer Scorpio Pisces again. Okay, um, this could be with a Virgo. I did get uh, the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles talks about someone coming in very slowly. They're very, very slow. They don't come in quickly. They take their time. They analyze. They're not like the 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 like the Knight of Fire that they just like come rushing in and then they get bored and they leave. I'm not saying all Knight of Fires are like that, but some are. They really take their time, but they're very stable people, very loyal people, very loving, very kind, you know, very, very kind, you know. They're not very manly, like they're manly, but they have the, the side of, of them that's very feminine, okay? And they have like, meaning that they're sensitive and they're soft, okay? And uh, it could be also you're dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, okay? Or th this person has, or you have like, you're a Sagittarius. And your rising or your moon sign. I think your moon is in uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Okay, you're very intuitive. You're very intuitive, uh, Sagittarius. You've done a lot of work. <laughs> okay. Oh my God. Um, again, um, I got the Queen, and I got the King of such of uh, Wands. Okay, you're in your element. Okay, you done a lot of work. You're patient. Your inner work is done, okay, and you know how to manifest, and you're very passionate and loving people, okay, and uh, maybe you could be dealing with another, um, you could be dealing with another Sagittarius like you, or Aries or Leo, okay, and I see that there's a rebirth here, okay, a beautiful rebirth, you see all these butterflies here, some of you could be also pregnant, for those of you that are in a couple, that means maybe for those of you that have been trying to have a, a child and it hasn't been working out well, you're gonna have a child because you're getting you're gonna be getting a child that's 100 percent. i see it here um and for those of you uh you know uh that maybe you're gonna meet someone maybe in, in the near future you will have a chi child together or this is you that's creating yourself okay you created recreated yourself you change your hair your clothes the way you think the way you see things uh, and your inner self you know you're you're beautiful okay or handsome okay whether it's a man or a woman i'm talking to and there's going to be an, uh, a lot of abundance coming towards you. A lot of abundance here. 
So congratulations. And at the bottom of the deck, I got the Ace of Cups. Okay, and a beautiful energy of love here. Uh, pure love, divine love, um, overflowing. And, but I feel that you're going to be in balance with yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to take out a few cards from this deck, which I do not remember the name of it, unfortunately. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I have the messages here. It shows me that you this new beginnings are happening for you this is the first star card like the first card sorry that came out another completion here look at the completions you've been going through okay another completion new beginnings taking that leap of faith i got it twice these are my confirmations okay so your next card is you're gonna have material and spiritual prosperity that's coming to you I feel another six over here. You you have worked hard on yourself. Again, you see, I, I see like these two things, like these pillars of water here, is your emotions. You, you contain your emotions. Um, a completion here, okay? You worked hard and uh, spirit is coming in. The universe, you need to step back and let it happen and do not block yourself okay Sagittarius because there is a, a lot of beautiful things coming for you it's going to bring you a lot of prosperity it's going to bring you a lot of serenity peace okay contentment okay uh, it's really beautiful here <laughs> here we go you got the number one card again love begins two people coming in together with the cup of love okay two people coming in together with the cup of love there's a new beginning here for you new beginning and you're manifesting very quickly and for those of you that if you have if it's this is a career uh, or it's your purpose there's going to be a lot of partnership and alliances coming together okay people are going to be reaching out to you you're going to be reaching out to them and things are going to happen very quickly okay i see this like this is so positive this reading uh okay well this card here because i wanted to and in the past, there was changes. Like I feel here, the fives were where you had to go through changes. Maybe there was an emotional loss though. In the past, okay, there was an emotional loss, okay? Because the five of pentacles also talks about, you know, you being left out uh, in the dark. Uh, I could also talk about, um, but there was a lot of healing with this, a lot of healing. Okay, you see how your heart, you healed your heart. Whatever you went through in the past, it's not going to happen again. And the spot, you see all the spir spirals over here around, okay? Um, look, you healed your heart, okay? You suffered from something that in the past that caused you an emotional loss, but that's not what's happening now. Okay, I'm just going to take another card. There's going to be a lot of financial and material changes coming to you. I have a lot of fives here. A lot of people talk about five, like five, five, five. There's changes coming for you, okay? There's beautiful changes coming for you. A lot of you are going to get married, I see, or an engagement, or you're, you're, if you're in a relationship, you're going to go higher into your relationship. There's a lot of fi financial and material changes coming towards you, but they're positive. And one more card. Rejoice in celebration. You got the Three of Cups twice. Okay, I don't see anything bad in this reading. Actually, this is like a beautiful reading for you, Sagittarius. You got the Three of Cups, a lot of celebration going on here. And the bottom of the deck is in the past... You were going. You went through many obstacles and challenges, okay? Uh, where you and this was this was in the past. Again, another five. You got five, 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 five. Something beautiful is coming towards you. I hope you embrace it. But you did. There's another completion. You overcame all these fears, these obstacles, these challenges. Okay, you worked really hard. Okay. So now I'm gonna take a few cards from my Osho Zen. See what else is. Uh, just a few cards. See what else is going on with you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2018. What are the messages? Okay, let's cut them. Okay, I'm gonna take out the first card here. A lot of you will be traveling. I did see that in the card. So this is a confirmation that there's going to be traveling. 
okay for you for those of you that are traveling for business or for your purpose you are going or if this is for someone that you're gonna, there's, gonna be, you, or if you're like doesn't mean you're gonna be traveling by car or by plane or boat or whatever the situation you could be but this also could be that you're gonna be doing a lot of traveling to see this person okay such there is or there's someone that's coming towards you that will be giving you a I feel it's like that you are or you or or this person whom you meet will be traveling to you all the time okay plus you got the number eight and the end there eight talks about uh, talks about um, infinity and possibilities and abundance coming towards you this could also happen in the month of uh, August there's a lot of creativity okay this is almost like the Empress card where it shows me that you are working on yourself you worked on yourself okay whatever you're creating you're creating it through the phases of the moon for some of you i feel that you are very very creative you're manifesting very quickly and uh it's almost you, you because you are the creator of your own life right some of you are meeting your divine partner yin yang okay there's integration merging coming together this is you becoming you you becoming your own divine you part you becoming one with yourself this is what i mean and meeting someone that is in the same calibration as you okay your light your shadow you work through it they are equal and right now you're merging within yourself okay and a lot of new ideas are coming towards you you have to let go of the control okay now control talks about not uh, you wanting things right away you need to learn, you need to step out of the way. Step out of the way, get out of your own way, Sagittarius, because the universe and the divine timing is into play here and they're coming for you to bring you all these beautiful blessings. Just let it happen because you have everything going for you here. Okay, this is really a beautiful and powerful reading. And there is completion again. I got the complete card twice here. I can't find the other one now because it's, I have too many cards on the ground. Let me see where the other one is. But you did see, let me just check where it is. I want to show you okay here is the completion card I know I had it here somewhere <laughs> oh there it is there you go to completion okay the missing link of the puzzle okay all past lessons learned you're not gonna repeat those again you're more smarter this time more aware more awakened your intuition is right on target no one can hide anything from you anymore okay this is what i feel and you have to stay moment to moment live in the moment and don't look too much in the future okay because if you look too much in the future and you're not here you're going to miss what the opportunities are you need to listen and observe it's coming in for you a lot of you are in your flowering look at this beautiful lotus this is you. This is how you worked on yourself, Sagittarius. Planting, seeding, watering yourself, self-nurture, self-love. And you became a new person. This is the Empress card. This is you. A lot of transformations, but wow. This is an amazing reading. Now I will ask the Romance Angels. Yeah, the messages you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for July 2018. Okay, let's, I just want to shuffle them a bit more. What are the messages here? Okay. First card you got is make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You just need to make the effort, Sagittarius. Next card you got is it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, it's divine love I'm telling you that's what's coming for you. This has to do with a past life relationship. You have known each other in another past life. Okay, it could be a soulmate energy. And keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And I do believe that if you are used to having a certain person in your life in the way they look, in the way they are, this person is completely different, completely different. That's why they're asking you to keep an open mind. 
they're asking you to be more playful as well okay to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and the last card is finance and finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now okay that's what i get and on the bottom of the deck is getting to know each other i do feel there's a friendship that is here for you okay so you're just starting to get to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens I'm very excited to see this now i have the angel cards here and this is how it works okay so now you're here with me where you are now anytime you see this is the right time for you ask a question out loud like this don't have to put it in the comments or to yourself maybe there's something that you need to know okay that i did not answer for you in the reading and this is like this is these cards are very powerful okay so what are the messages for um sagittarius sun moon rising and venus oops ask a question and we'll see what the angels have to say <laughs> look at that they're saying listen to your intuition i told you your intuition is right on target please do not doubt yourself okay Sagittarius, please do not doubt yourself. Your intuition, you know, if someone will come to you being false, you will see through them, okay? Oh boy, that was so many cards. to Sagittarius one and one. You need to get more information. You need to ask your angels. For those of you that meditate, ask your angels, ask your higher self and your guides, okay? Find out more information before making any kind of judgment. This is what I'm getting. Is there anything else you want to tell Sagittarius? They're asking you to reconsider something or someone. Maybe this person that you met that's a friend is not really your type or she's not really your type. You, But they're asking, this is a soulmate energy. You've known each other in a past life. And they're asking you to reconsider, you know, maybe get to know them. Maybe you never know, right? Because um, we always ask for specific people in our lives, okay? And then uh, we have like an image of, of what we want. But uh, the universe and the and, and the universe and the angels bring you someone else that's completely different, and sometimes it throws you off. But it's because they're there for a reason. Okay. Use your mind and your heart together. cards i just want one more card is there anything else that such serious wants to know maybe someone here asked a question oh, this one will fine the situation will the situation they're saying the situation will improve okay and one more card oh boy that was fast <laughs> big happy changes are coming for you big happy changes i'm so happy for you such serious okay and um the bottom of the card you got trust you need to have trust and have faith in yourself, okay? In the universe, the angels. You've done the work. Step aside. Divine timing is here. Let them do what they have to do for you and just go with the flow. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Sagittarius. Again, if you need a question answered, you could go You could uh, go to www.instantgo.com uh, slash Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111. At the bottom of the video, there's all my information there. And for those of you that do not have an iPhone and an iPad, then you could contact me on uh, my email address, which is Cosmic Moon Child Tarot 1111 at gmail.com. And uh, I will send you my fees and, um, and how it works for you to get a reading from me. So um, have a happy July and I'll see you in August. Bye.